All right, what is up, YouTube? We got some new stuff here today, and uh, I'm gonna show you my M8A7 class and kind of break it down this time instead of just showing it to you. So, obviously, first we're gonna start off with the M8A7. Uh, duh. Okay. Uh, I chose the yellow optic. Um, not really a fan of it on most guns, but for the M8, you know, because it is a burst fire weapon, I do like to be able to see up above and around a little bit easier just because you're not going to be able to just spam the you know the gun from hip fire as easily rapid fire obviously being able to shoot this gun as fast as possible is going to make it better in every regard um especially considering the recoil of it is just minimal without a grip to begin with even with a rapid fire on fast mags i consider fast mags and extended mags to be almost uh something that you like it's a staple you have to have it one or the other in public matches uh, on this gun I do prefer fast mags because the reload is absolutely insanely fast and FMJ <clears throat> now most people would choose high caliber but when I'm playing Nuketown I like to use FMJ with this because getting that quick headshots isn't really even that hard without high caliber on this specific weapon so that being said obviously that's a great choice now, I also bring a trophy system. I think the trophy system is great uh, for a number of reasons. Um, the biggest reason, honestly, is not protection. I bring it for the 50 extra points. And when playing as Seraph with combat focus, any type of points that you can get are going to count towards your streak, make your streak faster, and basically net you more kills. So it's a great idea to run the trophy system. Overclock. Earn your specialist weapon or specialist ability faster. If you're Seraph and you're earning combat focus faster, you're gonna get more streaks faster so it's obviously great now <clears throat> that being said I sometimes will change this out for flak jacket because the trophy system is not as reliable as you'd like to you know hope or you know as we would like to admit scavenger obviously if you're going for streaks you're gonna want to reload your weapons always and always have ammo to reload them so scavengers are no-brainer and finally tactical mask now be it <laughs> you know, whatever. The non-lethal grenades are horrible in this game, so running tactical mask is pretty much a given. And when you go in here, blast suppressor is about the only other thing worth using. But me personally, when I'm going for big streaks, I'm kind of, I'm kind of trying to lure people to me. So in that regard, I don't use blast suppressor. However, you'll notice in some classes, I in fact do use blast suppressor. But I hope this has been something to teach you guys, you know, a little bit about how I play and maybe help improve your gameplay. If at any point in this video you've liked it, then, you know, why don't you hit a sub the subscription button or hit the like button or drop me a comment down in the bottom. In any event, you guys are awesome and thank you for watching.